In this video, I'm gonna compare Google Analytics to Google Search Console, and I'm gonna show how I use each tool and how both of these tools can complement each other when you're trying to build complete SEO reports. So for Google Search Console, typically the main thing I use from a reporting standpoint is gonna be some of this performance uh, reports here, which we'll get to. But the big difference between Google Search Console and Google Analytics is Google Search Console is also gonna give you additional SEO reporting that Google Analytics does not have. So this entire indexing section, which shows you how your website's being indexed on Google, you could see if there's any issues. So here I could see some 404 errors. Uh, I could see some pages are crawled but not indexed. It gives me additional reporting that I can't get inside of Google Analytics. So very helpful for evaluating technical SEO. I can also submit my sitemap file here, which again, for SEO purposes, you can only do this in Google Search Console and then Google will crawl and discover pages on your website through your sitemap. You also get different uh, page speed reporting than Google Analytics provides. So there's core web vitals reporting, which will show if I'm passing or failing any of the benchmarks. And then there's even uh, backlink reporting as well. If I click on links, it'll actually give me both backlinks, so ex, uh, internal and external links. So I can see um, internal links on the right, which pages are getting the most internal links, and then I could drill into those. So if I click into this page here, I could see exactly which pages are internally linking to that one. And then I could see the top backlinking websites, so which websites are linking to me the most often. I could see my anchor text. So all this data you can only get inside of Search Console and you can't get inside of Google Analytics. But from a reporting standpoint, this is gonna be the main data you can get that Google Analytics doesn't provide. So I can get data on what's happening on the Google search results directly before someone gets to my website. Google Analytics can only track someone once they are on my website. So this allows me to actually track how they're engaging on Google before they go to my website. So I can see how many clicks I'm getting from Google. Impressions are gonna essentially be how often my website is showing up in search results. I can see my click-through rate and then ultimately position is where I'm ranking. I can even get query data here that Google Analytics doesn't provide anymore. So these are the exact queries people are using to find my website. I can see how many clicks I'm getting for each one. Position is where I'm ranking. What's cool about Search Console as well, if I click into a keyword, it'll filter this chart and you can play around with things like this and I could actually see how my rankings have changed over time. So in this case, I was in position 13, then I dropped a little bit, then I trended up to like the middle of the first page, and then recently I've been trending up a little bit further and now I'm in the, the top five. So you're able to access this keyword data that you can no longer get inside of Google Analytics. So this is one of the main advantages to using Search Console over Google Analytics is to be able to get this granular keyword data. Now where this falls short is Search Console only provides data before they get to my website. So basically how they're engaging on Google. It doesn't show me then once they get to my website, what are they doing? Are they converting? Did they do any valuable actions? And that's where Google Analytics comes in. So with Google Analytics, the main things uh, I'm using in here are gonna be tracking any actions that happen on my website directly. And I could still look at, at SEO data in here and filter by organic search. I just can't get the keyword level data. So the big advantage of Google Analytics is I can set up key events or conversion tracking. In my case, my website's pretty simple, so I just have one form. So I'm actually able to track how many people are filling out the form on my website. And then if we go to a report like acquisition and traffic acquisition, then I can break down the data by the top channels. This is gonna give me more data than just SEO. I can also get video, social media, paid advertising, basically all the traffic sources where Google Search Console is only gonna provide SEO data and organic search traffic. And then I can start to see um, which channels are driving traffic to my website. And if I scroll over, I could actually see the, that key event, which in my case is the contact form. I can see which channels are driving those contact form submissions. So it looks like I have one from organic search and then I have a few from direct. So this is where you can access some of that data. And Ultimately, using both of these tools is gonna to be a great option to get a full picture on what's happening on Google directly, what keywords are leading people to your site, and then ultimately when they get to your website, using Google Analytics to track, are they submitting forms, or are they doing the actions that we want them to take? Now, the only way to really blend the two tools that I've found is using a tool like Keyword Hero, 
So Keyword Hero is a tool that will actually unlock some of your keyword data inside of Google Analytics. So it's not perfect, but the nice thing is it unlocks a lot of the, the keyword data, as you'll see in this report here, inside of your Google Analytics and maps it to a landing page. And then we'll actually show you conversions or revenue if you have e-commerce by keyword, which right now without a tool like that, that's always gonna be the gap, is Google Analytics will show revenue and conversion data if you have e-commerce set up or conversion data if you're a lead gen site. And Google Search Console will just show the keywords people are using. So to mash the two together is pretty difficult. The main workaround I found is just using a landing page. You could see what landing pages inside of Google Analytics are converting. And then what I'll typically do, so if we look at the landing page report here, I could see my homepage and my contact page are where the conversions have come from. So what I could do then is go into Search Console, click on pages, and then click on my homepage, and then see which keywords are driving traffic. In this case, it's my brand name. So I could pretty much assume those conversions came from my brand name. So again, not perfect, but it can get you close enough to have enough insight into what's working. But if you want that extra layer and that granularity, testing out something like Keyword Hero can be a good option. Ultimately, what I like to do with both of these tools is connect them to a tool like Looker Studio, where I can visualize the data better and create reports. So this is an example of, I have a chart that's trending out my form submissions coming from SEO by month. And then I could actually pull in from Google Search Console my organic clicks and my organic impressions. So on one screen, I could have reports from different data sources. So I can use both Google Analytics and Google Search Console uh, on one page. So that's really one of the advantages of using a tool like this. The visualizations are much better in Looker Studio. As you can see here, taking screenshots of this chart here, it's just not always super clear what's happening. You have a lot more customization inside of Looker Studio to take just to see traffic and impressions by month is difficult to do in Looker Studio because they show you this daily chart. So it's not as clear as what's happening. Uh, in Google Analytics, same thing. You have a little bit more customization here where you could, you could change it by month or by week, but you just can't style the visualizations as much as you can. And then you can't make a preset report like this that pulls in data from multiple sources. If you're running Google Ads or Facebook Ads or you have a Google Business Profile, you can pull all that data into Looker Studio and then have one report that connects to multiple analytics tools. So that's the big advantage of using a tool like Looker Studio is you can pull the analytics out of those different tools and then you don't need to necessarily log into Google Analytics or Google Search Console. You can get all your data in a report in this format. Um, I could also do things like this where I'm showing keyword reporting. What's cool about this one is if I click on an individual keyword like self-storage SEO, it'll filter these charts and then I could see how my rankings are progressing. So for this keyword, I just got to page one, it looks like in June, and I'm starting to get some clicks coming in for that keyword. So setting up filtering and like interactivity is really powerful inside of Looker Studio and it's very difficult to do in other platforms. It's a little more tedious. The nice thing about Looker Studio again is you could build one report, build it out once, and then unless you're making edits or adding to it, you really don't need to touch it again and you just can log in and analyze the data. And ultimately the purpose of it is to figure out what you need to change and what you need to adjust to keep improving uh, whatever the marketing is that you're doing. So I recommend setting up both tools uh, and using Search Console primarily for query and keyword data, and then also for technical SEO data, and then using Google Analytics to analyze what's happening when they get to your website. And then if you wanna experiment with a tool like Keyword Hero to try and combine the Search Console and Google Analytics data, it's worth trying. And then ultimately taking all your data sources and pushing them into a tool like Looker Studio where you can create more custom reports and more custom visualizations. I found that to be the best approach. So blending all those tools together and then building out your reporting here uh, typically works well. So if you want a copy of some of my reporting templates like this, uh, just let me know in the comments and I'll put a link in the description here where you could sign up for the newsletter where we give away different Looker Studio templates, Google Sheets templates, all sorts of templates and tools that are free and you could download them right on the newsletter.